Hey, what's going on? Um, figured do a uh, late afternoon, early evening shot. Um, it's been a little cooler the last couple of days. We hit uh, almost mid 90s this week, and then it kind of scaled back a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it doesn't get uh, too horrible. As we know. Those are dead and gone. That's dead and gone. Um, replacements are... They're growing. Um, these have been inside. I just brought them outside to, uh, to film them. So the Wisconsin, Wisconsin SMRs. We've got to do something with them. I'm hoping that the, uh, the roots start coming off the bottom. So I can... Uh, you know, begin to get them transplanted into uh, one of these. The Space Masters are starting to pop up. Um, the Divas are starting to pop up. Um, all the pepper plants, they're a little slower than the squash and cucumbers, so nothing happening there, but I ridded the Coscabellas, Peppercinis, and Banana Peppers, so We'll see what happens. Just uh, trying to get these, the pepper plants. I've got two more buckets um, inside the greenhouse. So, um, these are all diva cucumbers, as I've mentioned before. So, they're doing pretty good. I mean, they're at various stages of planting. So, um, hey, look at that. There's actually a flower hanging out down in there. So,. Cucumbers coming soon. Um, just trying to work on once they get a little bigger, try to get them trained up so they go up into the trellis. Um, corn in its various stages as I planted and replanted and replanted. Some of them are leaning pretty good. Looks like I need to get a couple stakes in there. The snap peas and pea pods have been doing pretty well. Uh, for some reason, the bottom leaves act like they're not getting any water or nutrients. And that's not the case, obviously. Um, but, yeah, they're just doing their thing. So, I come in once or twice a week, snip some off, and uh, I just wash them up and uh, eat them raw, actually. Not enough to uh, grab and try to cook. Um, these bean plants, at least um, this one's been doing really well. It's climbing, doing its thing. A lot of blossom starting. This is the, um, I think this is the dragon tongue. And this is the rattlesnake one. Not that you can really tell or whatnot that's going on there, but uh, no beans yet. And then, as we know, the uh, tongues of fire cooked some of those up last week. They actually were pretty good. I got a little uh, gecko thing hanging out over here. Ready to go. But yeah, they're a flat bean. Get all the uh, the red stripes on the, on the one side. And what's really funny is when you cook them, the stripes go away. So that's even weird. More weird. So, anyways, um, looks like my little uh, support thing. Yeah, it's probably just the wind blowing around. There we go. It's my uh, rain deterrent for, uh, you know, hopefully it won't get any more rain, but for some reason the gutter just uh, splashes from the roof and just decimates the tote. Blue Lake green beans are doing well. Lots of blossoms, a few crispy leaves. Not sure what's going on with that, whether it's, uh, you know, animals at it, the wind blowing and breaking. The outside cucumber, it has plenty of water and nutrients. I'm not sure if it's just because the plant wasn't all that great when it went in, but I mean, I have one cucumber growing, and that's fine. Um, there were blossoms and there's little baby ones trying down here and the bottom part is is green and healthy so I'm not sure what's going on there 
there's like I said there's plenty of nutrient so we'll see what happens um, strawberries strawberry plants aren't doing too bad a um, couple of the ones I transplanted they kind of died off but you know those were all oh, those were the ones out of the uh, the fence posts in the greenhouse um, and then varying stages of berries hanging out in here so it looks like I got a couple that I need to pick before the birds get to them but yeah so these are again last year's plants so they didn't do much last year um, so quite a bit going on this year radishes are not doing well I don't know what it is as long as they've been in there they should have already um, grown radish and then picked so I'm probably gonna end up scrapping these and starting over the Brussels sprouts not doing too bad the one in the center is just huge and the other ones are getting dwarfed by the other um, watermelon slowly starting to do its thing carrots are a little runty um, but they're doing okay Again, you know, I, I did everything so early this year, and the weather just just hammered all the plants. Um, so I'm just letting the carrots do their thing. They're not dead. They're 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 doing okay. Um, these sad green onions over here have been there way too long. They were stunted, um, and then the couple here that are flowering, like I mentioned before, they are from way early in the year or end of last year. I don't remember. And all the other ones are from the onion sets, which is where all of that came from, and all of this came from. It's really funny, the ones in the totes here, they've got a little more moisture in the bottom. There's a lot more plants than are what's in these, but um, these are way healthier. Potatoes, these ones in the buckets, it's really weird. So some of the plant is dying in the bottom. And the same thing with these in the cloth bags. This one's got a little bit dying in there, but this plant is, is just rocking. I mean, it's a little darker green than the other one. It's got uh, blossoms on it. This one not so much, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. It was just a, a bag of potatoes and that's all it was. Um, tomorrow or yeah I don't feel like doing it tonight so tomorrow I need to get some uh, hydroponic um, nutrient mixed up and uh, top off all the totes get them a gallon or two um, of hydroponic solution in there feed the plants and then let me try to spin around the back side because you really can't see all the different green on here but and of course the light is the sun's not going to do it just justice but so something that was looked like it was dead two three weeks ago and then it's just been uh thriving so lesson learned it's not really dead um only a couple blossoms but it's early yet so we'll see what happens um other than that uh that's it for uh outside this week